If you've ever wanted to decorate your cruise cabin door, but you kind of didn't know where to start, this is the video for you. I'm gonna share with you the do's and don'ts of cruise cabin decorating, including tips, rules, and photo inspiration. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now cruising is a lot of fun and one of the things that is different on a cruise from hotel vacations is the fact that on some cruise lines decorating your cruise cabin door is actually pretty popular. So in this video I'm going to share with you sort of do's and don'ts of decorating your cruise cabin door and really everything that you need to know. And really one of the best parts I think is while I go through this video I'm going to be sharing with you some real photos of cruise cabin doors from real cruisers. Thank you very much to those in my Facebook community that did share these photos with permission so that I can share them with you. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So firstly, why decorate your cruise cabin door? Now it's definitely not something for everybody, but if you do decide to decorate your cruise cabin door, there are definitely some benefits. So first of all, it is a fun thing to do. But beyond that, it's also something kind of practical. All of the cruise cabins, well, the doors all look the same, the hallways all look the same. So when you do decorate your cruise cabin door, it is a way for you to recognize it. It's also a great way to celebrate something special. So like a birthday, an anniversary, maybe a graduation. If you're cruising during the holidays, it is a lot of fun to decorate your cruise cabin door with Christmas decorations or Thanksgiving decorations or Halloween decorations. It's also a fun activity to participate in, especially if you're on a group cruise. And something else that a lot of people say is when they do decorate their cruise cabin door, it does make their cabin or their room feel more like home. Now this is definitely something that is more popular on some cruise lines than others. So firstly, if you are going on a Disney cruise, this is something that is very encouraged. So make sure if you're going on a Disney cruise, this is just kind of part of getting ready for that Disney cruise is finding your cruise cabin door decorations. Now, if you're going on a carnival cruise, this is also something that's pretty popular. So you definitely want to get some inspiration. Now beyond this Royal Caribbean cruises, it's a little bit less popular than on Carnival cruises, but you definitely will see this, well, a fair amount. Now other cruise lines where you'll see it a little bit less, but people definitely do it. And it is something nice. I think a lot of times on these other cruise lines like Princess and Celebrity, you might see cruise cabin door decorations, but it will be done in a little bit more of a simple way. Now, later on in the video, I will go over some rules as to what you're allowed to put on the cruise cabin doors because the cruise lines do have some rules. Now, just something to mention is Norwegian Cruise Line back in 2019, they actually banned cruise cabin door decoration. That being said, I have heard anecdotally from some cruisers who've cruised recently who have said that it is actually still being done on Norwegian Cruise Line. So if you've sailed on Norwegian and you've seen people decorating their cruise cabin door or you've decorated your cruise cabin door, please let me know if they are enforcing that, if they've changed that rule in any way, please let me know down in the comments below. Now, before I share with you some really good tips about cruise cabin door decorations, let's go over the rules and the guidelines because of course, these are pretty important if you are gonna decorate your cruise cabin door. So firstly, you wanna make sure that you're not putting anything on the door that could actually damage the door. The cruise lines never want you to do that, whether it's inside the cruise cabin or on the door itself. Now, if you have a metal door, that is pretty easy because then you can just uh, buy some different magnets and you can have some magnets that are either personalized or you can have some magnets that you make yourself or that you buy from the dollar store or from Amazon. But basically you could put those right onto your door. Now, the other way, if you do not have a door that is metal, you will not be able to use magnet hooks, but you can use command hooks instead or command strips. Now, some people have said that they have used some packing tape or some scotch tape. However, I think technically the rule is you're not supposed to put any adhesives on the door. So do be careful with that. Now, as well, when it comes to safety, for safety reasons, you cannot put any string lights on the door itself or on any of the hallways. And the materials you use should be flame retardant. How do people decorate their cruise cabin door? Well, a lot of people will decorate their cruise cabin door with personalized signs, 
Those are a lot of fun. Other people will decorate their cruise cabin door with colored pictures maybe their children have made. Other people will buy um, more generic but sort of seasonal items. So maybe if you're going um, during the holidays, you might decorate your door with seasonal items for the holidays like Christmas or Thanksgiving or Halloween. And as well, some people will decorate their cruise cabin door based on where they are going on their cruise. So if they're going to the Caribbean, they may decorate with flamingos and sunshines and beach pictures. And other people, if you're going maybe to Alaska, may use whale cutouts and the mountains and things like that. Now beyond the fun decorations, some people also put some practical things on their doors. So that would include whiteboards on the door. And the idea of the whiteboards is that you may wanna keep a whiteboard on your door, have a little message for people that are passing by. Other people say if they're going on a group cruise or traveling with family members, they use that whiteboard so people can leave messages on the whiteboard. And some people even put a poster board up. So it kind of becomes a bit of an autograph board, just something fun that people can write little notes when they pass by the door. Now, another idea that somebody shared with me, and I have seen this before on cruises, I think it's a really nice thing to do, but basically it is hanging a basket where people can take um, candies, for instance, as they wish when they pass by sort of on an honor system that cabin door. The only thing um, that I did want to mention is make sure because there could be children that are on this cruise, make sure that if you do hang a little basket up with candies that you do put it high up so that kids who are passing by don't take that, especially if they may choke on it or they may be allergic to it. So make sure that you do put that higher up on the door. Now I have a little bit of a warning, something that's a little bit sad that does sometimes happen. And this is that sometimes people will actually take um, some of the cruise cabin door decorations while you're on the cruise. So that doesn't happen to most people and that doesn't happen all the time, but I have heard of this happening. So I do have a little bit of a tip. This was shared with me. I thought it was a very good idea. So don't bring anything that's extremely sentimental to decorate your cruise cabin door or that cost a lot of money. And if you don't want something stolen, usually the best way to do this is just to make sure that this is personalized. So if you've spent a little bit of money on having a decoration made for your cruise cabin door, then just make sure that it says your names or something like that because it really isn't useful to anybody else. So here are some fun ideas. If you like the idea of decorating your cruise cabin door, and if you are on a group cruise. So if you are on a group cruise, one of the really fun things that you can do is plan an activity where you have a cruise cabin door decorating contest and maybe have first, second, and third prizes. This can be a lot of fun. And of course, somebody is going to win the bragging rights. Now, if you're not on a group cruise, something else that you can do is join a roll call. And I've talked about this before in past videos, but basically the idea of a roll call is you can join this either on Cruise Critic, on other forums as well, and even sometimes in Facebook groups. And the idea is you kind of connect with people that will be on your cruise, you connect with them online before the cruise, and you may or may not meet up with them on your cruise. So sometimes what some roll call groups do is they have a cruise cabin door decorating contest for, of course, the people who do want to participate. And again, you can have prizes for this, um, and it really is just something that is a lot of fun. Now, please let me know if you've ever participated in any cruise cabin door decorating contest. If you have any tips about that, please let me know down in the comments below this video. Where can you buy your cruise cabin door decorations? Well, you can pretty much get them anywhere. You can make them yourself if you want. Some people, what they do is they use their Cricut to make their own. I hope that I pronounced that right. Other people uh, may use Canva and they may then uh, personalize their sign and they can cut that out and they can laminate it. Other people will buy their cruise cabin door decorations just at the dollar store. There is really a lot available at the dollar store, either like laminated type items or even small wood signs. You can also find things at Five Below, at Hobby Lobby, at Michaels, at Walmart, at Target. So really quite a lot of places. And if you're looking for personalized items, I don't have any specific place that I can recommend on Etsy, but I have heard there are some great sellers on Etsy. And of course you can also find this on Amazon. What I will do is I will leave down below in the description of the video, a few different cruise cabin door decorations that really have great reviews. I will leave that down below in the description of this video. And I will also leave the blog post all about cruise cabin door decorations uh, that has a little bit more information. I'm also going to leave that below in the description of this video. Now a video all about cruise cabin door decorations wouldn't be complete if I didn't talk about pineapple decorations. So 
What do pineapple door decorations mean? Well, basically, if you have pineapple decor, if the pineapples are turned upside down, what it means basically is it kind of symbolizes swingers. So I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, if that's something that people want to do. However, if that isn't necessarily something that you wanna do, if you do have a pineapple on your door, you may find that people for a little bit of a joke turn those pineapples upside down. If that is not necessarily what you want, then you probably want to avoid any pineapple decor. Now, when it comes to something else that you shouldn't do, a rule that cruise lines have when it comes to cruise cabin door decorations, this has to do with profanity and basically anything that kind of could include adult content, adult photos. So I think this goes without saying, but no profanity um, on the doors, uh, nothing that's very sort of that could offend people. So don't put that on your cruise cabin doors. Now, I hope that you enjoyed the photos and the information in this video. Please let me know if you will be decorating your cruise cabin door or if you have decorated your cruise cabin door and please share your tips below in the comments of this video. Now, if you are looking for cruise cabin door decorations, I will leave a few ideas that are available on Amazon uh, below in the description of this video. And of course, I am gonna leave the blog post also with some information that may be useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.